We are all in this together. Right now, there is so much going on in the world with COVID, with race relations, with the economy on the verge of collapsing, but not. Uh, unemployment is through the roof. So right now is a crazy time to be in business, to be out there trying to grow your organization, get better at what it is you do. And I wanted to give you some advice, some tips. And so here's the thing. If you are selling right now, right now, the most important thing by far is to love. It's to love on your prospects, love on your clients, provide for them, help them, help them figure out what they're trying to deal with, how they're trying to deal with it, what they're trying to do to get to the next level. And so that love is what this video is about. With that said, I'm doing a challenge. I'm helping people. The way I am trying to love on the world is share my expertise, sales, marketing, prospecting. I'm doing a five-day challenge all about how to get in front of the right prospects. There's a link down below. Click on it. Love to have you as a guest. It's free. It's just a way for me to provide value and help people. And yes, at the end, I will offer something if someone wants help at a higher level. But that's totally up to you or them. Now, back to selling through love because love is the most important thing when it comes to sales. Because people do not care. They do not care how much you know until they know how much you care. And this is what a lot of people get wrong, especially in the sales process. They think they need to come in and be the expert. I need to be the person who has all the answers, that can help them get everything they want, that can do it and do it great and do it consistently. And while that's all well and good, how do you know what you need to do? How do you know if what you do is even a good fit for them, right? So if you don't come at it from this mindset of how can I serve, how can I love on you? And I see sales as a service, selling someone, is a service to them. Because let me ask you this, do you truly believe in your product? Do you truly believe in your service? Do you feel like it would be such a disservice for me not to help someone? If you feel that way, then it is your job, it is your duty, it is your moral obligation to go out and help people that you can help. Does that make sense? And far too often we get this negative connotation around sales. I don't wanna be a salesperson. I don't wanna be salesy. Listen, I am salesy. I am because I can help people. And sometimes people don't like that and I'm okay with it. I don't push you. Well, let's put it this way. I don't push for a yes. I push for a decision. There's a big difference. I don't care if it's a good fit or not. And you shouldn't either, okay? Because sales is a service. And if you know what you're gonna do will change someone's life, it is up to you to do it and to help them with it. So that's one of the things you've got to embrace is how am I loving and serving through what I do? Because if you really do believe in your products and services and don't sell them, how will you ever change anyone's life? You can't because you're not in front of them. They don't have you in their life if you don't go out and put yourself there, right? So I want you to be aware of your feelings towards sales. See, I, when I come in and help someone, I do it because I truly believe that I can help them. I, I don't work with people that I don't think I can help. In fact, last month, I let a client go. I told them, hey, 
I love working with you, but I don't think this is a good fit. Because I didn't think it was a good fit. I didn't think I could provide the value that they deserve. So I've got to ask you, are you letting go of people that you don't think are a good fit, that you don't think you can help? It's crucial to find people and serve them at the highest level. It is your moral obligation. It is your moral obligation to go out and help people if you can help them. It's your moral obligation to sell people if you can truly change their life. On the flip side though, it is also your moral obligation not to sell someone if you can't help them, okay? So if you value yourself and see yourself as someone who's moral and constantly out there doing the right things for the right reasons, then you've got to ask yourself, am I being too responsive? Am I waiting too much for someone to come to me to help them? Because it's your moral obligation to go out there and change the world. It is your moral obligation to help people. And if you're waiting on them to go through and do it, if you're waiting on them to get the results, then you are creating a problem because it's your moral obligation to help them. Does that make sense? I hope this makes sense because everybody needs help right now. Now more than ever, companies need help. They need help in so many different ways. And I'm sure you can help them, but you just gotta get in front of them. You've gotta find that right way, that right way to serve them, that right way to help them. So I just wanna encourage you, right now if you, if you are in business, if you're in sales, number one, sell through love. Go out there and love on your prospects. Love on your clients and truly help them. And if you truly believe in what you do, you need to sell them so that you can help them at a higher level. That's what I love about sales. That's what I love about business. Nobody loses. In business, let's say, let's say you sell marketing and I give you 10 bucks. Here's 10 bucks, do marketing for me. Hyperbole, right? And you go out and do your gig, do your thing, and generate leads, great. I am thrilled I spent the money. Let's pretend you go out, you do your thing, and don't generate leads. I still needed the leads. That's okay. Everything's a risk. But if I didn't hire you because I didn't know you existed, and I just gotta keep my 10 bucks, we both lose. Does that make sense? Because I'd rather the chance at investing wisely, the chance at getting the result, than to wait and see what will happen. So, during these extreme situations, go out there, love on your prospects, love on your clients, serve them at the highest level possible by selling, by prospecting, by putting yourself out there so that they can get the results that they want, that they need, and that they deserve. If I can help you guys, I want to. And comment down below. Let me know what questions you have. What, what else would you like videos on? How else can I serve you? And if you want, come to our prospecting challenge. If you go to theprospectingchallenge.com, you can get registered. It's free, I'm, it's five days long. I'm gonna be going, doing training about an hour a day. And there's a brief overview video. You could do it in an hour total, but that doesn't include actually doing the work to get started. I hope that makes sense. So if you want, come to that training. There's a link down below. I would love to serve you at a higher level. But if I don't get that opportunity, I am honored and thrilled to get to serve you at this level. So with that said, 
We'll talk to you soon. And remember, when it comes to sales, love. Love. And that is how you will sell way more than you would ever expect. Have a great day.